Everybody, today we're going to go over how to make board review style questions using RemNote. Specifically, this is going to use the close style RemNote flashcard. If you guys haven't downloaded RemNote yet, uh, you can go to remnote.io to get that. Otherwise, uh, this is going to skip over some of the basics and just go into how we make multiple choice style board review questions. So I'm going to use uh, some board review questions that I made from a, in a PowerPoint from the left here and then I'm gonna incorporate them here over on the right into RemNote. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have this folder already created. If you wanna make a new folder, you can click the plus here, go to the new folder. That allows you to create your folder here. But I already have it created, so I'm just gonna to go to this folder. Uh, the, we're doing stroke part one, and I'm gonna continue on with the naming format. So I'm gonna add a document, and I'm gonna title that stroke one Nolan. Okay, there's some important techniques here to do it so you don't kind of mess up the formatting of the question. So when I pull over the first question here, it'll say, what structures do the PCAs apply? supply? So I'll type that in. Okay, and then it's very important here to not click enter. If you click enter, that creates another uh, bullet point, you actually need to click shift and then enter or return. And that allows you to stay within the same bullet point but to create a break uh, in the paragraph there. So then I'm going to type in answer choice A with a dash um, and I'll start typing in upper brain stem. Okay, so that's our first answer choice. Again, it's very important here that you click shift and return to go to the second answer choice. Uh, because I'm using this previous file, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that over to save myself some of the typing. Okay, and then again, shift and return. Shift and return here. Okay, I'm just gonna paste that over. Again, if you're doing this on your own uh, and you're not copying the, the questions from a different file, you obviously just type them in here. So again, you have all the answer choices. So now we'll go over in here, the correct answer is A. So then I'm just gonna do shift and return again and write a answer section here. And I will put A, okay? Now after this A answer, we can put a colon and then just, or semicolon, and then just do a description if you wanna give sort of a description as to why that's the answer. Um, I'm not gonna do that for this question. The important thing is that once you have this format, you simply highlight whatever your answer is, and then you click this button right here, the create close, and that's a fill in the blank style flashcard. And so once you click that, boom, you have your first question done. Uh, if you want to see how that pops up, we'll see that a bit later, but you can get a preview down here at the very bottom of the screen uh, where you can just kind of click on it and it'll show you how it pops up. But again, we'll go over that later. Uh, so then after we click, we, we do the close style, we're just gonna actually click return or enter this time and that will bring up a new bullet point which will allow us to start doing uh, a new question. So, Let's create a second question, okay? Uh, we'll just use this one. What is transcortical sensory aphasia? Okay, and again, shift and return A. We'll put the dash and we'll copy in these answers. And I'm actually just gonna copy in all these right now. I'm just gonna put, all right, I don't know why it's copying over like that, but we'll just do shift return here and go B, and then we'll copy and paste in the second one. Okay, and then we'll go C. And then, of course, the final answer. D. Okay, and then we'll 
put an answer section. Again, we're doing shift and return for all of those. And the answer here is C. So we'll put C, highlight it, and then we're going to do a closed style question, and that will create the flashcard for us. And then I have this handy picture over here. So if we start for now just doing these uh, questions, um, we can click over here. That brings up whatever file you're working on. You can go to the top right, and you can click practice and practice all these REM, even if they're not scheduled to appear yet. Okay, I'll click that one. And so here you can see my question and the answer is blank. And then when I click enter or show answer, it'll give you the answer and then you can decide when you want to recall it. I think what's really handy here is that you can see at the top, it's under stroke one by Nolan. That'll allow me to go back into here, click on stroke one Nolan, and you can see the source of that question, which is important because if you want to make a uh, further longer explanation that you don't want to include in the answer, or if you want to include a picture, you can just screenshot whatever picture that is. All right, you can open it up here. So let's see, this, this one for question one. And I can just copy that, go back into RemNote, and I can put an enter below, create a new bullet point, and then paste it and boom, you have your image in there. So now when you go back to your stroke section, if you're curious about why that description is, you can put this picture in here and then simply in your answer, you can put a semicolon, say C picture uh, in outline. And that'll give you more detail. So again, that's not too difficult to do. If I exit out of here, I can just open this picture because I, like, I really like this one. I can just command copy, go over here, um, see the one below, command paste, and boom, there you got that. Make sure in the answer you write C picture in outline. And there you go, you have your explanation. So that's just a simple way to create board review questions. Uh, and then it's important if you wanna create them with a group to share those. So you can go here, share, it'll create a link for you, and then you can send that link out to people however you wish. So that's it. That's how we make these board review style questions. They're multiple choice. It's a great way to use RemNote. The thing about it is, is you can go into the board review questions. You can choose all of them. You can practice all of those. You can do space repetition, and you can customize it. This will allow you to determine how hard the questions are, and if you need to see them more often, which will help you reinforce the knowledge. And that's all I got for board review style questions. That's how we're doing it. And I think that technique is working out pretty well.